This video is going to be on Windows shutdown problems. Now this PC, take my word for it, this PC when I go to shut it down it just starts right back up. Um, the only way to uh, turn it off is I have to wait till the shutdown thing shows up on the screen and then pull the power plug. It will reset every single time. So I'm going to try a few things. No guarantee it's going to work, but I am going to keep the uh, the video going the whole time so this this might go for like 10 hours all right so I, I clicked on the keyboard over there Am I zoomed in enough yeah hey don't forget thumbs up subscribe like share this video if you have something you want me to review if I can get a hold of it I'll do that review uh, if you want to donate to my channel ask for my PayPal info so well, I'm gonna try a few things and it might work it might not I'm clicking on the keyboard clicking on the main keyboard over there I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to properties and we're going to see what we get. Power management. There's a power management tab. So I'm going to click on power management. Allow this device to, device to wake up the computer. And so really what that is is if you would hit the mouse, the computer would come back on. Um, I'm going to uncheck that right now just to see if that's going to fix this thing. Probably not, but there are a few things you can do and this is one of them. So we did that for the keyboard. Now I'm going to go click on the mouse because normally I wouldn't uh, be pressing on the keyboard to start the computer up. A lot of people will either do the, uh, the power button again or you might move the mouse, but this is just to try to test it now. I'm at the mice, the mouse. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to go to power management. Your thing might not have this. It might, it might not. And so again, this I'm just going to change all these things at once to see if anything works. I'm going to go over to network adapters. I'm going to try to find my, um, what do we have, the Linksys, the micro, I don't want the virtual, the real tech, family controller, I want the adapter, so the Linksys wireless adapter. I'm going to left click to highlight, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to properties, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go over to power management and allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. Over here, allow the device to wake the computer up. That is not checked. So we're doing good. If it was checked, you'd want to uncheck it. Now, what else do we have here? So that's the first step. Now, the next step, I'm going to go in and do some power management. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take the mouse and I'm going to go over to the start button. You're not going to be able to see me do that because it's kind of hiding behind, uh, I'm going to click on the mouse button and I'm going to go into, you can find this in the control panel. Um, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to type in power into the search box and see if it comes up. Power options, power options came up under control panel, power options, so I'm going to click on power options and we're going to get, that is going to pop up on the screen right now and I'm going to have to zoom out. Here we go, here we go, uh, sorry the camera's looking at an angle, but we've got power options, so there are a few things that I want to look at. I want to go over to, uh, what do I want to go over to? On the left, choose a power, choose what the, what the power buttons do. That's on the left. So I'm going to left click that with the mouse, and now we get a new screen that comes up. I'm going to turn the monitor, the camera over there. So we have, when I press the power button, shut down. When I press the sleep button, it sleeps. Um, require a password. No, don't require a password. So what am I, what am I looking for? Um, yeah, okay, so that's right. When I press the sleep button, I want it to sleep. Um, and so that seems to be working. Okay, I'm looking for an advanced setting. Let's go to... Um, Hold on a minute, let me find it. Normally you would have a disable fast startup on that screen. I don't have it, so we're gonna try a couple things and see what happens here. On uh, down in the bottom, I'm going to go into the search box and I'm gonna type CMD to try to get me a command window over there. Alright, so I got a command window. Let's try to zoom up now. And in this command window. I am going to type in 
Well, that's not really what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. Because I want to run this as an administrator. So I'm going to go back into the window. I'm going to type CMD. In fact, what I need to do is I'm going to type CMD. And then at the top, in the screen over here, we should see a... Okay, see where it says CMD over here? I'm going to go up to this thing and I'm going to right click and I'm going to do run as administrator. Now that I've got my box set up over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just trying a whole bunch of things to see if I can get everything working. Um, I'm going to do, what am I going to do? What do I want to try here? Um, So I'm going to try a couple of things. I'm going to try to de restore my default settings, um, which I should be able to do in another screen, but let's try it over here. Power, P-O-W-E-R-C-F-G space hyphen restore Default S C H E M E S Restore default scheme. So I'm gonna hit enter. Doesn't say if it did anything, but hopefully it did. Yeah, I could also do that in another screen. One last thing we're gonna try. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. We're gonna do a reg edit. Search box on the bottom. Type reg edit, it comes up over there. I'm gonna right click it and run it as the administrator. And now we're gonna do some work here. All right, here we go. We got, we have the uh, reg edit started. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close some of this stuff up so that it is easier for you to see. Okay, so we're gonna start from scratch. See at the top. Let me see if you can see this. All right, can you see it? No, now you can see it. All right, so at the top we have H key local machine. So we're going to click on H key local machine. And none of this might work, but maybe something will work for you. So that's what we're trying to do. We're going to scroll, go down over here to software, and we're going to left click on software. Oh boy, let's go find Microsoft on the left over here. So we've got Microsoft and now we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for Windows NT. Okay, so we're going to click on Windows NT and then we are going to click on current version. There we go, current version. Right, inside uh, that we're looking for win logon. So we're at win logon, we're over there. We're going to left click on win logon. Okay, so I'm, I've just clicked on to the win logon word over there. That's, is it showing in the mouse? No, it's not showing in the mouse, uh, I mean in the screen. Where is the mouse? Okay, where are we? Way down over there. Okay, so over here, win logon. You click on win logon, and inside, I'm going to open up this box a little bit more. Inside win logon, we are looking for. Let's open this up a little bit more so you can see what we're looking for. We are looking for power down after shutdown. And you can see where it says, I want you to see that. Power down after shutdown, you go across and it says zero. So what I want to do is I want to change that to a one. I'm pretty sure that this is going to fix the problem and if it does then all that other stuff that I did might not need to be done. So I believe I can left click on this to get the box to pop up. And we can see the value. You see, let's see. 
All right, is that showing? Okay, so the value is zero. So I'm gonna go to my keyboard now, I'm gonna press one, and I'm going to click OK. And now, if you look where the mouse is, we have a one. So what, the one is a, in uh, digital, one is yes, zero is no. So this was set to power down after shutdown, uh, no. And this might solve the problem, and if it does, then if I want to, I can go mess with the uh, wake settings that I changed on the keyboard and the mouse and the network card. So I'm going to go power down now. You can just close this reg edit out if you want to, or you can just go click down at the bottom, power down. And that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see if it shuts the machine down. Now, for years I've had this problem, so there's no guarantee that it's going to work, but I'm going to click shut down now, shutting down, and this is the big test, people. This is the big test. Ooh. All right, so it's waiting. Maybe it didn't like that setting. We're going to force a shutdown, and we're going to see if it shuts down or not. It might power back up. Like I told you, this has been doing this over and over for years. And this is one of the, these are some of the ways to fix it. So please do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share the video. Uh, what else is there? Watch my other videos. Okay, now I'm waiting to see if it powers back up because it always powers back up. And it's going to power back up right now. I just made a noise with the hard, there it goes. So it didn't solve the problem. Um, I have absolutely no idea why this is doing this on this machine because all of those settings are things that will solve the problem of Windows not shutting down properly. But I wanted to put out the video for others that uh, might need some suggestions on how to fix their problem. Maybe this will work for you, maybe it won't. It didn't work for me, but it work, has, has worked for me on other machines. This is a Windows 7 Ultimate on a Dell computer. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. If this worked for you, leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching. All right, people, I'm going to turn on the PC. I just found the way to fix this one, and it's probably going to work on your computer, too. So I'm going to be pressing. I want you to look in the bottom right of my screen. See it? Boot options, F12 down at the bottom right. I'm pressing F12 on my keyboard now. And I'm just pressing it on and off and on and off. Down, down, down. And I'm going to get the BIOS. All right, it didn't kick in. did not kick in. All right, so I'm going to have to shut that down. Um, what you want to do is you want to look for, on your screen, it might say setup options. The other one was F2, I believe. That's what I probably needed to press. F2 is the BIOS. You might see BIOS. You might have to do F2, F12, F10. Um, I'm going to restart this thing in a minute. Um, F12, F10 on your keyboard. Some of them you have to press the escape key. Some of them you have to press the delete. Just, if, you, if it doesn't say on your screen, it should say on your screen. It says it on all the screens. If it doesn't say something, just start it up, press the start button, and just start pressing all these buttons. Okay, I'm going to go over there and reboot now. Just start uh, pressing a button at a time until it kicks in to a BIOS screen. But that's what we're going to do is we're going to go and I'm going to show you what setting you have to change. I just did it. I powered down my machine and it worked. I'm not going to change it when I go in there because then I'm going to have to shut this off twice, but I'm going to show you what you need to do. Okay, we are recording again. Look at the bottom right. It's going to say setup F2 in a minute. Oh, it doesn't do that anymore. It doesn't do that anymore because I fixed the machine. <laughs> All right, so at least you get to see that I'm being honest with what I said. All right, where's the power button? Power button. Okay, machine's starting up. I got my finger on the F2 key on the keyboard. It's going to say on the bottom right F2 for setup. I'm pressing F2 right now. 
Again, like I said, it might be F12, F11, F6, F5, escape key, delete key. I'm just pressing on and off, and it, okay, there we go. So, can you see up at the top now? Sorry, everything's wobbling around here. Up at the top, it says the CMOS setup utility. So, you're going to you're going to need to change a setting in here and you can arrow, you can use your arrow keys. You cannot use the mouse. You have to use the arrow keys, I believe, only on the keyboard. And so, you see how that's highlighted now in red. I'm going to do the right arrow key and it bounces over. I'm going to go back to the left. You can also go the down key and it will take you to the next column. So now I'm at the power management features and I'm going to press the enter key on my keyboard. Now you're going to possibly have something on the left side that says, I think it's PME. We'll find out in a minute. I don't have the PME on mine, but I'm going to use the arrow keys up and down. I'm going to go to the down key. See on the right how it says this field selects the power management suspend. I'm not looking for that. Remote wake up. See on the right how it says disable, enable PCIE, PME to generate a wake event. So what I did is when I went into here, this was enabled and I just disabled it. So I'm going to press the enter key. You've got your information down at the bottom of your screen that's going to tell you what you need to do to move up and down and how to select something. Normally you press enter like it says over here to select and then it's going to give you a key that you're going to press save. Uh, to save it and then it's going to say do you want to save and you go yes so I'm going to press enter over here just so you can see what this involves and then you've got your options you can go arrow up or arrow down for what you want you want to disable this thing so I don't know if it's going to ask me to say well <clears throat> you press enter it's disabled and then down at the bottom for me it says save F10 so I'm going to press F10 and then we get a message saying save and exit yes okay cancel and so okay and then it should reboot right now that is the one that worked for me so as far as the earlier part of the video i could go in there and turn all that stuff back on which i'm not going to do but this is the way that worked and one of these ways is going to work for you to stop your windows 7 your windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 10 and uh, Windows 9000 from rebooting when you shut it down. That should save you a lot of time, even though it was a long video, and definitely worth a fabulous donation to my PayPal account for tech services. Thanks for watching again.